nine homeless encampments that are sanctioned in Seattle. This is one of them here at North Lake Tiny Home Village. I spoke to a woman who lives near a former encampment and she says she fears more of these across the city will put public safety at risk. Before this homeless encampment in Seattle's Licton Springs neighborhood was shut down, the people who lived around it say it caused nothing but problems. Waking up to men outside of my bedroom window was one of the things that I was not okay with or finding needles in our in my neighbor's yards. Amber Mathias says she worries the same thing could soon happen in other neighborhoods. Seattle City Council will review a proposal to allow 40 sanctioned encampments, each having up to 100 residents. The legislation would exempt churches and religious groups from acquiring a land use permit, making it easier to set up the tiny home village and run them. Matthias says she believes more tiny homes are not the answer to the city's homeless crisis. We need to expand treatment. We need to uh, increase mental health and we need to get people back into environments where they can reincorporate back into society. You cannot reincorporate back into society living in tents. Matthias says crimes spiked in her neighborhood during the two years the encampment was in Licton Springs. Though Seattle police say their numbers can't prove the encampment was to blame, there was a big increase in crime in a two city block radius from it. SPD numbers show there were 68 crimes reported in 2016 before the Licton Springs encampment existed. In 2017, when the village moved in, there were 138 crimes, a 103% increase. Licton Springs was an exception and um, and moving forward I think a lot of changes have been put in place so that um, the Licton Springs experience will be very very different. Sharon Lee with Low Income Housing Institute says moving forward villages will have staff on site 24 7 as well as skilled case managers. She also says Lehigh volunteers will help churches oversee the villages to ensure safety. Lehigh plans to turn the negatives of Licton Springs into a positive by developing the space. We want to build more affordable housing so people are not living in tiny houses. So just about everything, every building we build, we move people, we prioritize people from the tiny house villages into um, affordable apartments. Lee says despite what people may think about the encampments, Lehigh is seeing results. She says last year in Seattle, about 700 women, men and children lived in a tiny home and 50% of them moved into long term housing. Reasons why she says approving the proposal for more encampments is necessary. Council member Shama Sawan is a sponsor of this bill. Council members are expected to meet tomorrow to discuss this proposal starting at 2 p.m. Reporting live in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Q13 News. All right, Frankie, thank you so much.